hello everyone for today's video i'm going to show you how to do the monitoring of generate generating plant exercise so let's start press shift f1 you will hav one zero minutes to fulfill the assessment so let's check the loop oil system flow and drain is open i'll close valve open from the filter and uh, open this top of valve so it's increasing and i'm going to open the air going to the generator number two and also the fuel so let's check here okay it's open i'm going to open and open this valve okay and also the preheater will put an on and automatic and See the little boy. This is okay. I will close and let's let's put it in automatic so it's not running. So maybe the breaker. I'll go to electric power plant and check the breakers. Oh, we need to put this one in. in. Go, to, go back to the generator number two. So we're okay on the lines here. Let's proceed to the seawater system. And as I can see, only auxiliary pump is running. So I will start another pump, seawater pump, and stop the auxiliary pump. Put this one in remote, both pumps. And open the valve going to the DG2. And let's go back to DG2. Here, so we already set up the lines. We can now start. It's running i'll put to remote afterwards we will uh, synchronize it so electric power plant voltage control on and put to digital the semi-automatic and click connect so this diesel generator number two which is now running should connect to the main bus bar okay it's connected let's check now diesel generator number one so, so what I can see here, it's open, so we need to close and uh, op top up a little bit of lube oil on our sump tank. Okay, so it is already on remote. Uh, remote. So that's enough. And we need to check also the parameters of diesel generator number two. Okay. So we have an alarm, but this one is normal, so just knowledge. Okay. And this is already on remote. Now we're going to click panel directory and let's make the generators an automatic. So number one generator is already in priority number one, so let's make diesel generator number two and priority number two and put it on automatic so generator is now in automatic let's proceed also with the pump control so all the pumps that are running i need to put in automatic okay and then we will now monitor our diesel generators number one and number two.
So far, so good. Oops, our differential pressure is increasing. So let's acknowledge this one. Shift F12 to, to silent. And we need to change over. So I'll open number two and close number one. And now I need to click M so that we can clean, uh, we can reset diesel generator number two, fuel filter dirty. So I'm going to click reset and diesel generator number two filter dirty so reset reset okay so now that it's already reset the malfunction i need to change over I'll open here what's here so okay now it's normal So let's monitor the parameters. Also on diesel generator number one. Also the parameters here are okay. It's good, it's good. So let's just monitor. So a while ago, uh, I click letter M because this is the page where you can find the reset of cleaning the filters. So you need to click this one to make a reset. Yeah. Ang sabi ni saya pa, pindutan ni ang letrang M, no? Pindutan ni, and then ang page na ay mugawas bago, mugawas ng page, and then i-reset ang um, one, diesel generator number one, fuel oil filter, dirty, o diesel generator number two, fuel oil filter, dirty, and then i-change over the yung pagbalik ang kuhan yung valves para ma-disappear ang high differential pressure na alarm. Wala na yung problema. No problem so far. Diesel generator number 2. And diesel generator number 1. All parameters as of now are okay.
Your, Your 10, 10 minutes, minutes has been, been consumed. consumed. Stop, Stop assessment. assessment. So that's it. And kita kits na po sa next video. Salamat.